Hi, this is Dr. Mercola, and today I'd like to talk about two important topics. Uh, aging and the ability of your body to produce energy and how they are related. Now, one of the most common theories of aging is the free radical theory. And if you're not familiar with the free radical, let me explain that to you. Uh, basically, it's any atom or molecule that has an unpaired electron. What are more unpaired electrons? And in biological systems like our bodies, for the most part, that, that means an oxygen free radical. And uh, they're normally, sp we're supposed to have free radicals. They're part of our immune process, and, and without them, it we, would be flawed. But the problem with most people is they have too much free radical production and too much inflammation. So, and this occurs as a result of leading pretty much unhealthy lifestyles. So there's the, the way that we're designed to compensate for that is to make sure that we have a large amount of antioxidants continually flowing into our body. And the best way to get that is by making sure you're eating high quality, unprocessed, fresh, organic and preferably locally grown vegetables and fruits because these are loaded with these types of antioxidants. And uh, of course, not all of us are able to do this on a regular basis and some of us even prefer some sort of supplemental insurance. And so we take antioxidants which help to protect us against the damage from these free radicals. And uh, one of the more common ones of the antioxidants are vitamin E and vitamin C. And typically, uh, you may not uh, appreciate that the only way that these antioxidants can work is if they are in the reduced Form. If they are oxidized, they will not work. And uh, one of the ways that you can know if a vitamin C is oxidized is to look at it. A vitamin C powder, if it's reduced, is white. If it's oxidized, it'll be brown. Uh, and it, and it's, uh, in its oxidized form, it just simply doesn't work. So fortunately, the way that most of these supplements are sold are in their reduced form. But once they actually use up their free electron and to, and to, to uh, combat the those free radicals, then they are relatively useless in your body unless it's able to regenerate. And one of the primary ways that your body can regenerate the vitamin E and vitamin C to useful forms is through an enzyme produced in your liver called coenzyme Q10. And it's, it's really a, a pretty remarkable enzyme used for a number of different functions. Uh, not only to reduce, to actually reduce the vitamin E and vitamin C, but it actually itself can fight free radicals. And it has a very important and powerful function in helping restore energy balance in your body by going in repairing some of the damage that is done to your mitochondria. And the mitochondria are these little energy powerhouses within your cells that produce a very high energy phosphate molecule called ATP or adenosine triphosphate. And, and that's a great molecule that your body uses to shuttle energy back and forth through all your different biological systems. And when it, when it hydrolyzes down to ADP, there's a lot of free energy that's released and your body can use that. So it's really the sort of a currency that your body uses to transfer energy around. And when we're exposed to toxins or heavy metals like mercury, these mitochondrial systems become damaged. And that's where uh, coenzyme Q10 can come in and start to repair some of that damage. Of course, there's many other processes that go in there, but coenzyme Q10 is a very, a very important one also. So, uh, the, interestingly, coenzyme Q10 also comes in a reduced and oxidized version. And this really wasn't commonly appreciated. Uh, and, uh, it, most of the coenzyme Q10 sold on the market is in the oxidized version. And uh, fortunately, if you're younger, I would say under 30, maybe 35, your body has the uh, vital uh, capacity to actually reduce it by itself. And it does it quite nicely. And you can use this inexpensive form of coenzyme Q10. And let me just show you what that looks like if, to help you distinguish whether or not you're getting CoQ10 or ubiquinol. But a coenzyme Q10 actually comes in a capsule, a gel cap. And it's typically a pretty bright orange. So that is the typical coenzyme Q10. And it's, and it's typically one third third the price of the reduced version which is called ubiquinol and ubiquinol is not orange at all it is actually a, a whitish yellow and that's the reduced version so the reduced version is really the the, the, the version that you're going to want to take if you're um, over 35 or 30 or so uh, because if you progressively uh, lose the ability to, to uh, reduce uh, that oxidized version of CoQ10 now in addition to um, um, be, being useful for increasing your energy production and helping fight antioxidants, there's a specific situation that occurs where you really need to be on co coenzyme 2 and it's really tragic if you aren't, and that is if you're taking a statin drug. Now, if you've been following my site for a while, you know I do not recommend statin drugs hardly to anyone unless you're suffering from a genetic condition called familial hypercholesterolemia, and that is typically only about one in a thousand people taking these drugs, and that your cholesterol is typically over 350. But if you don't have that, pretty much almost everyone else can restore it through simple dietary and lifestyle changes. 
And, but if for whatever reason you don't believe that or you're one of your friends or relatives is, is, is choosing to take a statin drug, then it is really imperative that you be on coenzyme Q10 or preferably ubiquinol, the reduced version, if you're older than 35. Because what happens is that these statin drugs, they're, they're relatively nonspecific enzyme inhibitors, and they, they are very effective at inhibiting one of the enzymes in your liver to produce cholesterol. So they do lower your cholesterol, but again, they nonspecifically inhibit other enzymes, and one of the enzymes they inhibit is the production, the one that helps your body produce coenzyme Q10. So you, if you're on a statin drug, you will lower your, your coenzyme Q10, and you will radically increase your risk of heart disease and congestive heart failure as a result of this. And, and, and muscle disorders and muscle painful muscle conditions. So one of the ways that you can compensate for this is to take the coenzyme to Q10. I personally believe it's, it's, it's criminally medically negligent not to put a person on these if you're taking a statin drug. So if you are on a statin drug or one of your friends or family are, please let them know that this is imperative. This is not some fantasy I'm making up. You can simply type coenzyme Q10 or CoQ10 and statin in the Google search window and you'll come up with thousands and tens of thousands of references to this fact. And this is, this is really well understood within the scientific community. So now uh, you, I would also encourage you to, 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 if you do decide to get a Biquinol, that there are, there's a, a bit of a difference in, on the market out there and uh, most of them actually come into it as a version that uh, we used to sell, which is in this hard uh, gel cap that's typical, simil similar to what that's produced for vitamin E. And there's really only one company in the, the U.S. at least that produces a, what's called a cap leak. And that is a far more effective a way to encapsulate the, co the reduced form of coenzyme Q10 because it is a, it's a, a more effective buried oxygen, so it stays reduced for longer. In addition, the, the coenzyme Q Q10 we use has is lecithin, and almost all of them do, but the lecithin source that we use is not from soy. It's a non-soy, soy-free lecithin. It's actually made from organic uh, sunflower seeds. So uh, that's another is important distinction. I really think that the, the, the ubiquinol that we're offering on the side is relatively unique, and I don't know of any other uh, company that offers that. So we really try to pay attention to details because you know, the devil's in the details, and you're really going to want the best quality you can if you decide to choose to take a supplement. So um, personally, I take this every day. I think it's an important part of a comprehensive anti-aging program in addition to, to eating a really healthy diet. and encourage my friends and family to take it also. So if... Um, this is something you uh, are interested in. I definitely would encourage you to consider that. Uh, if not, then hopefully the information that I provided on uh, the uh, importance of the free radical uh, protection and the energy building and certainly the importance of taking a statin drug is going to be uh, really crucial information that you can use for yourself or share with your friends and family so that you all can continue to take control of your health.